guys, welcome to another episode of Basic Bike Mods. Today's mod, we're just installing an LED light. This one's pretty crap, we'll focus on it. I got it for pretty much free, so let's um, let's install it. It's pretty bright, it's got um, like a 30 watt high beam, a standard normal beam, and then a strobe flasher, so we'll see how it goes. Now the first thing that you want to do is take your headlight apart or off or just leave it to the side like I have and find your plug for your headlight. Now this is just a H7 globe so there's three prongs. As you can see here this is the plug that we're talking about so it's just your standard H7 plug. What you want to do is ground your multimeter, have it on 200 on the volts, find your plug, turn your key, get your power. Now I've already tested this, so I know that on this side, when I stick it in there, put high beams on, that's where I'm getting roughly 12 volts. So, off, and then 12 volts. So we know that the wire going into there, which is the white one, is my high beam, and that's what I'll tap into. I'll splice into it so I can get my power. So when I use high beam, I've got the LED, and when I'm using the standard uh, headlight, it's not affected, so the, the uh, LED won't go on. I'm actually lucky with the Husky, I can actually pull this section of the loom apart. and actually work on it in a, on a bench or something. So once you've figured out which wire it is, in my case it's the white one, I just get my wire cutters and we just split it about there. It's pretty good. So now what you want to do is just get your wire. So this is going to be the new wire that's going to run directly to the LED. You just want to wrap it around that copper wire there. It's nicely like that. Try not to make a mess. And then we can solder around that and wrap it in uh, electrical tape. So now what we do is we get our piece. Like that. Try to do this with two hands like that. Get a bit on our solder and iron. working. Try to get a bit more flat. Better. i changed my mind. What I'm going to recommend now is using the black wire as a ground. It's just going to make everything a lot cleaner. So to split it and just do exactly what we did before um, and just run another wire, preferably a black one, uh, to the ground wire on the LED. So this will be a test fit to see if everything's working right. So turn the key, we've got standard headlight, got everything wired up, just the mock, it's, it's mocked up. And we go for the high beam, and there we go. So we've got the LED. Adjust it to where we want it, roughly where we want it. We can always adjust it, but everything's working. Turn it off. So now you just want to lay everything down, come up again, and try and. So what we'll be doing is connecting the LED directly to the wiring link. It's pretty easy. Red on red, black on black. It's a really smart idea to have some of this insulation. Kind of, kind of plastic tubing, um, your wires just fit in, fit in there and then you can wrap it in electrical tape or whatever and that just looks really smart on the bike. So what we'll be doing is getting some heat shrink. Just follow the, the wire down 
cover that. Get it, get it down low so the heat doesn't transfer when you're soldering and actually shrink it before you can even uh, slip it over the top. Do the same there. Right out the way. Prepare your wires. So, we go black on black. Just twist and go. Grab your soldering iron, just repeat as like we did before. So once you're relatively happy with your soldering, just grab your heat shrink and just slip it over the soldered area, just make sure it doesn't catch on any wires. That doesn't really matter, as long as that's isolated, I can now wrap, uh, wrap straight over that, and that'll be fine. As you can see, I've wrapped the whole loom in the plastic tubing, that insulation stuff you can get from uh, Jaker or any kind of electrical shop. You can see the original loom there. We've tapped in, I've left it open there uh, just so we've got a bit of movement uh, and play. And the same at the front there, there's still a bit of play and then we've got the fixed position there with the, uh, with the plastic. Alright, we'll fit it on the bike. Now it's a really good idea to wrap it all with electrical tape. I don't have any at the moment so I might just cable tie it for now and then when I get some, uh, take it off because it's easy, unplug and then wrap it. Okay, so it's all nice and working so I haven't fully mounted the headlight, just got to do those up. Um, but we'll turn the key. So we've got our standard uh, light, high beam, we've now got our LED spotlight running and our high beam. So the beauty of it having up here, for one, it's kind of manoeuvrable and it's easy to access, uh, but really you don't really need to do any mods to fit it. So yeah, that's a bonus, um, kind of looks ugly, but look. It works really well. It'll help me out at night and it's removable and I don't have to cut anything. It's, it's just easy and it was free, so yeah. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. So that's standard headlight. Well, let's go, we'll go no headlight. So no headlight, headlight, oh no, Parker, headlight, I beam. Headlight, I beam with LED. So the biggest problem that I had was at night, couldn't really see anything at all. The, the stock headlight really did nothing. Um, so I'm hoping, now that it's uh, manoeuvrable, I can twist it, whatever, it'll, uh, it'll be really good. Maybe I can point it down slightly uh, looking at the road more and have that headlight as it is, the standard one, um, you know, I can play with it. So we'll see how it goes and when the bike's back and running, back up and running, I'll do some night footage and we'll see if it's a good mod.